Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create chapter markers in OBS in just a few minutes. And I'm also going to be showing you some really cool tools I made just for you. You can get for completely free. Keep on watching to the end because, well, I want your money, of course. I'm just joking. Watch the end to find out how to get all of this. So let's get into it. What is up everybody, welcome out to my YouTube channel if you're new here, my name is Josh Margaret and today I'm going to be showing you how to create chapter markers in OBS Studio. Now if you didn't know, OBS Studio has a new feature that you can create chapter markers by just pressing a hotkey on your keyboard. It's pretty easy to do it, let me show you. So first thing to do, first step, go into OBS. Go ahead and go to the settings, go to hotkeys, and go down until you see add chapter marker hybrid MP4. Now before, go to output recording, and on the recording tab, do hybrid MP4. And then go to hotkeys and go down and set set a hotkey. So I'm going to do num num one. Press OK. And then if I go to my just chance scene, I'm not recording in this one, in this um, instant of OBS. And then just go ahead and just start recording. So like this, and then press like that okay and then if you go and hit and press show recordings just start record you can't see any because um well you just can't okay so go to um, your video editing of choice. I would use DaVinci Resolve. I use the DaVinci Resolve. So go to your editing software of choice. I use DaVinci Resolve. And then go ahead and press new project, call it wherever you want. And then go ahead and find the file. So your video file. So mine is OBS, Oshin's files, OBS clips, streaming, Twitch and YouTube, vertical, and here it is. And then just go ahead and put it into here. And then go to the edit, Edit tab. You have to drag in again. And if you go ahead and see, there is chapters. So if you just don't care if it's. So you'll be able to see there is chapter markers. Do you see? You can cut to them like this. Well, yeah, and it's so much easier. But you notice they're named. I found a way around that. So go to the link in the description. It'll take you to a product page. That's mine. Go ahead and put how much money you want to give me. You can give me like a thousand euro quid or euros, whatever you're in. Um, you don't have to. You can put zero if you want. It's completely free. Um, but be generous and give me a bit of money, please. And then go ahead and press get whatever. If you don't want to follow this um, this video, there is going to be there is written instructions in it, so you can follow it. Okay. So yeah. 
and then just go ahead and get the file and and you should get a file like this now go into streamerbot Then go ahead and go to Actions, Import. Go to Import, and then just go ahead and just drag in this into here. You should be importing one action and one command. Press Import, press Yes, press OK. Now, when you've done that, you should be all done with your Actions tab. Go to Commands ahead and right click the command and press enable okay now then how does this work so if you go to your twitch chat or you can actually use the integrated chat or in streamer bot and then just go ahead and type in slash create marker just ignore this bit okay and then do like um test this is a test okay and then it should put in a um new Marker created all of that, but I don't think it's working for some reason. I don't know, but I think I got a marker command. Um, that does it. Marker. Um, hi. That doesn't. Never mind. But yeah, now you're pretty much done. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please can hit that subscribe button for more amazing videos just like this one. And I will be making new widgets on Kofi in the future. And I will not give you a heads up because I don't feel like it. So, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Woo!